Finally, I got him right where I want him. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, I'm glad to meet you thus alone. I've long sought this opportunity. You know why you're here today, don't you? I have an idea. And why don't you tell us? Because it's time for another episode of Prosper Works. All right, Chief, I have some rapid fire questions for you so residents can learn about the police department. Go ahead and shoot. First of all, tell us how large is the police department? The department is uh, 63 employees. It's comprised of 45 sworn officers and 18 civilian employees. Well, how many divisions do you have? Yes, sir, we have four divisions, the biggest being patrol. That's the most visible out there in the Mark squad cars and the officers in uniforms. Uh, we have a support services division. They support those officers out there. And then any criminal investigations that are, uh, need to be followed up on, we have a criminal investigation division. Uh, I also like to consider the administration division as support. Uh, we take that pyramid, flip it upside down, make it servant leadership. I'm the least important person in the organization. The officers that answer the calls, the people that answer the telephones and work the radios, they're the most important because they're, they're doing our job providing service to the citizens. Now, Chief, I know there's some things people are not aware of with your department. They might think you're a small department, but you have a lot of accomplishments, right? Uh, I'd like to think we do, yes, sir. Probably the biggest one we have is uh, twice now we have been uh, accredited by the Texas Police Chiefs Association accreditation program, which means we follow the best practices that there are in Texas law enforcement. So citizens are guaranteed that they have a first-rate police department. Tell us what it takes to be a police officer. Uh, lots of things. The first is, and I'll reflect up to that board, the five C's, character, competence, compassion, courage, and commitment. We hire for character. We go through people's background with a fine tooth comb because we want to make sure we have people of good character. Then we go to competence. Uh, there's uh, over 600 hours of academy training. They have to successfully graduate the academy when they come here. They get another uh, 18 weeks of field training. Well, they get with a senior officer who's a field training officer to make sure that they can demonstrate that they've mastered all the proficiencies of being a police officer. So it, it takes quite a lot. We're also looking for that third C, compassion. We're in the people business. You have to care about people, L legitimately and deeply care, because we are seeing people at their worst moment in time, and we have to care about them. And then we go into courage. Physical courage gets displayed a lot. There's also uh, courage, courage and conviction, courage of, uh, Commitment, and that's the last C. You gotta have, uh, be committed to excellence, which is something that you and I talk about quite often. All right, Chief, is there a way that the residents can get a better understanding with your officers' experience on the street? Absolutely, a part of our uh, Citizens Police Academy and also the Citizens Academy that uh, was just put on by the town, we have uh, recently acquired a shooting simulator. All of our officers are going through it. We're also allowing citizens to participate in that so they can see how difficult it is to be an officer and make those split-second decisions, difference between life and death, in a training scenario where uh, nobody gets hurt. This wouldn't embarrass me, would it? There's only one way to find out, boss. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Chief, thank you very much for letting me do this. It's awesome that we have this type of training for your police officers. And we appreciate it. It's very important that we have this. It puts the officers in the most realistic situations uh, rather than the real thing. And we can uh, train them, teach them, uh, see how they'll respond under pressure. It also allows us to share it with citizens and with you, boss, so you can see what officers go through on a regular basis. And uh, you did really well, so I think we're going to graduate you to a Junior police officer. Well, today. thank you very much. Appreciate thank you, that. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Prosper Works. <laughs>